I'm a little hesitant to do what I'm about to do, but I went on a photo walk tonight, came back with 23 images. I wanna take you through my selection process, see if we have anything that's worth keeping. I don't know if there is or not. There's probably not because it just wasn't great conditions tonight, but I wanna take a look with you. And then at the end, I wanna give you a chance to see if you might do anything to save these. Let's go through these. This was taken at the Oceanside Harbor. I like that there is this pelican flying through the scene. So I just fired off a couple of shots here just to see where that pelican went. So far, none of these I'm gonna keep. That one might have potential. If I just go in here and click the auto button, nah, I'm not gonna keep it. I mean, it's semi-interesting. If we zoom in, we have some noise on the bird, but at least it's crisp and focus. The shutter speed was 1 so that was fast enough to freeze the pelican, but there's just not a whole lot interesting going on in this series, so I would pass. If I move on here, this is the same spot. This is a little man-made island for sea lions to gather on, but again, there's just nothing interesting going on here. If I push the auto button, pass. Nothing interesting going on here, I'm gonna pass. I like to, when I'm doing a photo, see if there's three interesting things in the photograph, just composition-wise. This has three things in it, but they're not interesting. So this would also be a hard pass for me. Nope, nope, nope. So then walking through the harbor, I found this scene. And what I liked about this was the reflection of the sunset going on in this restaurant window here. I liked the lighthouse, but Aside from that, it's pretty flat. There's nothing going on in the sky. Just not a great foreground area here, so I would skip this photo. Same here, same here. I really like that reflection. I like the lights on this little red building here. I do like the lighthouse. Let me see what focus looks like. Focus is decent. I mean, it's a little soft. It's got some noise. We could always denoise it. But I just don't know that there's a whole lot to work with here. I like the light and the reflection here. If I push auto, I don't know. I like spectacular, and to me, this doesn't read spectacular, so I would pass on that one also. Same here. Just not a lot going on. Cool color, but it's just not visually interesting. And the final one from that series, and hard pass. I liked the sunset. I liked the sailboat mast. I liked the palm trees. Um, I liked the boats here. If we check our settings, and this is just purely raw files before anything done to it. F2.8 to ISO 250. Now, I mean, again, there's just not, not, what's going on here? Like, what's the point of this photograph? Yeah, it's a harbor, it's cool, but there's just not a lot happening. What I might've done if I was taking a little bit more, more time and planning this shot is bracket it so that we have the three exposures, one underexposed, one overexposed, and one in the middle. That might have pulled out some of the more highlights in the boats here, but nope, I would pass on this. If we even did a white balance, like if we white balance against the boat, semi-interesting, but is it a photo that I would post out to the public and be proud of? It's not. Hard pass. Same here, same here. So then on the walk, I was walking by the Oceanside Pier, and I just, I liked looking down these stairs and the pier going all the way out into the distance there. Is this something? Possibly, it could be. Uh, white balance seems a little bit off to me, so I could always select my little eyedropper and then select the area that is supposed to be white, which would be the pier wall here, which cools it off drastically. That might be even a little too much. Keep or scrap? I don't know. I don't, I don't see anything here that would be worth posting and if I'm gonna post something, I want it to be able to say, hey, this is, I'm really proud of this work. And I can't say that about this one. It's interesting, yeah, but it's not something that I would be super excited to write home about. And then it's the same for this one that was just different, different. And then I did horizontal mode on this one, which is interesting, but I mean, check it out. We've got all of this dead space over here. So even if I was to keep this one, I'd turn it into, I'd turn it into a vertical shot. Anyway, I mean, there's just, what's what's the subject? What's the focal point? This is just not a great photograph. So you can see on this walk, I'm kind of O for however many pictures we took here. I don't know, 30? There's just not a lot. As far as photography that I'm excited about and that I'm excited to post about, didn't get it this time around, but there's always next time. In my opinion, those are more like snapshots. There's just not a lot of artistic quality there, not a lot of wow factor. But if there's any that you think you can save, let me know and I'll send you the raw file. Maybe you could try the path blur trick. You can watch this video to learn a little bit more about that. But let me know. I'll send you over the raw file and see if you can turn these into a piece of art.